Hello and welcome to this special online concert presented by Third at First Concert Series at First United Methodist Church in Pasadena, California. I'm Paul Audley, one of the lay leaders here, and I'll be your host as we hear a wide variety of music today. The annual series of free concerts for the community celebrates the gift of music and its power to entertain, move, and unite us. Featured today are performers who are associated with the church's music on a regular basis, including pianist Junko Uno Garrett, who is coordinator of the Third at First concerts, along with members of the church and the church's music staff. You'll have the chance to meet them as they introduce the music they are performing. We are calling this concert Music of Hope. Even though we cannot be together today to hear this music in the church building, we believe that art and beauty are more important than ever. Usually, Third at First concerts are presented on the third Saturday of each month, and today would have been the concluding concert of the 2019-2020 season. It was to be a concert of jazz performed outdoors in front of the church. The current health crisis changed those plans, of course. So we are following the physical distancing and other health guidelines as we present our concert today. Guitarist Rob Hayes was the musical organizer for the original Jazz on the Patio plan, and so it seems right for today's online version to begin with Rob, joined by the church's multi-talented organist, Aaron Shaws. After several co collaborations in choir, Aaron asked Rob to join him on a prelude, and the pipe organ guitar duo was born. Their first selection was written by Michael Holden, who played bass, bass in a quartet with Rob many years ago. This piece with its beautiful haunting melody is called Inner Magic. Their second selection, LB, was written by Rob for a CD called A Hint of Moon, produced by Rob and Mark Goldstein. It was named after Rob and Mary Beth's son, Lon. Thank you. 
and Aaron. Next we'll be hearing from David Garrett, a member of the church and a Los Angeles Philharmonic cellist. Walton's Pasakalia for cello came about through Walton's friendship with the great Russian cellist Mieczysław Rostropovich. Rostropovich, though a prolifically busy soloist, had never played Walton's cello concerto. When Walton asked Rostropovich to add the concerto to his performance repertoire, Rostropovich said he would, if Walton would also write another solo piece for cello. This Pasakalia is the result. Pasakalia is a variations form that has been in use since the early Baroque era. In Walton's Pasakalia, a gentle melancholy bass line is the source for nine following variations. Notice how each successive variation increases the speed until the slow seventh variation, which is only a brief meditative pause before a dash to the finish.
this was to be a concert of hope, I immediately thought of one of my favorite books as a kid, Trina Paulus's Hope for the Flowers, so I thought why not play a few flower songs of Rachmaninoff. Lilacs and Daisies are just two of Rachmaninoff's 83 songs or romances that he wrote for voice and piano. In these two songs, Rachmaninoff thought the accompaniment really so lovely that the voice was actually accompanying him at the piano. He didn't have to make many changes at all, uh, so he transcribed the songs for solo piano. In Lilacs, imagine going on a stroll through the morning, uh, through the dewy grass and fragrant shade defined with a lilacs cluster. In Daisies, the poet describes being surrounded by those white silk wings of the daisy petals. And don't forget that the name, poetic name for Daisy is Marguerite. Uh, the name Marguerite. So this poem is really a romantic declaration of love. Now what flowers don't come with their share of bees? So to end my set, I decided to play Rachmaninoff's transcription of Rimsky-Korsakov's opera, a musical interlude from his opera, The Tsar of Sultan, The Tale of Tsar Sultan. A magic swan has just turned the Tsar's young son into a bumblebee so that he can fly across the sea and find his father. Now this little prince of a bee is fast, so I hope I can keep up with him.
The composer Herbert Howells is not as well known to music lovers as is William Walton, uh, whose Pasacalia we heard David play a few minutes ago. But both men had a lot in common. Both were English and lived as close contemporaries, being born in the late 19th century and living through most of the 20th. Like Walton, Howells wrote chamber music, concert music, and pieces for symphony, but he also had a lifelong acquaintance with the music of the church. His father was a church organist, and the piece I'm going to play today is the first of six so-called psalm preludes that Howells wrote for the organ. As with all six of these pieces, this psalm prelude takes a verse from the book, Bible's book of Psalms as its inspiration. It's a lament from the 34th psalm, and it reads like this. This poor soul cried and was heard by the Lord and was saved from every trouble. At the beginning of the music, Howells marks the music to be played lento, slowly, and poco appenato, a little pained. He develops a quiet melody out of a two-note descending motif, and eventually that gives way to a louder, more triumphant section that features some dramatic ascending scales, perhaps portraying that salvation from every trouble that is mentioned in the psalm verse. The piece then ends quietly. This piece was written in 1915, and the world was a troubled place then, much as our world is a troubled place now. Herbert Howells knew his share of grief in life. He uh, lost a nine-year-old son to polio, and of course, he lived in England during two world wars. This verse from the 34th Psalm offered him inspiration for composing and I think some hope, and I hope that this music does the same for us today.
Thank you, Greg. Good afternoon. Thank you for being with us today. I am going to play Black Earth by Fatsil Sai. Black Earth was inspired by Kara Toprak, which is a very popular Turkish song. The composer of the song, Kara Toprak, is Asik Vaisel, who was uh, one of the great uh, Turkish balladeers and uh, linked to the thousand year tradition there. In Kara Toprak, Vaisel describes his loneliness and loss. He was blind. Other Turkish musician, Fatsir Say, who is a fantastic classical pianist, um, composer, uh, jazz musician, and improviser, took Kartoprak and transcribed to play on the piano. So in the beginning section, he imitates Turkish root sound using um, prepared piano technique, which we hold the strings to mute the sound. The sound is very unique and creative and uh, effective. And after this beginning section, the main section is very lyrical, beautiful, expressive, and powerful. And even you would hear a jazz idiom in this section. And after this section, you would start hearing a Turkish root again, and the piece finishes quietly. During this pandemic time, I started to feel a very strong connection to this music. I hope you would feel the same way. Thank you.
Thank you, Junko. Thank you for joining us for Music of Hope, today's special online Third at First concert. We look forward to the time when we will once again be able to open the doors of the church and share these concerts with the community. This concludes the sixth season of Third at First concerts, which are made possible by many generous donors. A list of their names will be shown at the end of this video. I invite you to join them by visiting the Third at First web website, thirdatfirst.org. Click on the donate link at the top of the page. And you are always welcome to join us for worship, which is also taking place online here on the church's YouTube channel. These services are live streamed at 10 a.m. every Sunday and remain available to you here online whenever you wish to see them. If you subscribe, you will receive free notifications of all of our future live stream events. Links to each week's service and much more may be found at the church's website, fumcpasadena.org. On behalf of our pastor, Sandra Olwine, and the entire congregation of First United Methodist Church in Pasadena, thank you for listening and stay well.